Following the shortage of vaccines in the country, the health minister, Kwekwa Jiman Men, was in parliament on Thursday, March 9, 2023, to answer questions on measures being taken by the government to deal with the situation. And he assured that the vaccines would be procured in the next two to three weeks. We are expecting to receive vaccines within two to three weeks. Two to three weeks. We have done all necessary arrangements between two to three weeks. Honorable colleagues, let me be very honest with you. There are certain things or certain activities that are not controlled from the ministry when it comes to vaccine ordering, procurement, shipping, and all that. We have done the necessary things that we need to do. Police are orders about a week ago done all the necessary arrangements with the UNICEF people. They have given us indication. We don't know how quickly they're going to get air freight to come. We are pushing them to do, that is why I'm saying between two to three weeks. We are doing all things very possible to make sure that we even get some of these vaccines earlier. But the specific time frames that we put on, will be very difficult for me to assure the house. But what has contributed to the delay in the procurement of the vaccines? What I'm trying to say is that we are affected by a shortage of foreign currency and the depreciation of our currency. We had a city budget which couldn't meet the devaluation rates that we needed to do. And that is what disrupted our procurement processes. So we couldn't make payments when CD actually jumped to around 15 to 17 cities. With regard to the alleged military brutalities on residents of Ashaman following the alleged killing of a soldier in the area, the Member of Parliament for Kung Katamanso Joseph Akwetetete tells journalists that some members of his constituency have also been brutalized and dehumanized, hence the need for an apology and psychological support to the victims. Got the information that the military moved to Tulaku, which happened to be in my constituency. And so I decided to really find out what was actually happening. And the information I got was that my people or my constituents were subjected to barbaric uh, activities. Uh, this includes, if you go to Tulaku, where the slaughterhouses. In fact, the place is not uh, a good place that I would say uh, the, the place needs uh, improvement. But these military officers drag, compel some of the people working in Tulaku to go and drink the wastewater of the slaughterhouse. If you know that place very well, you'll be appalled with some of these uh, activities. Oh, no, there's a serious allegation. Yes. We have any evidence to that effect. Okay, for now, because of what happened, I requested for video evidence or any other form of evidence. But because of what happened, they couldn't take any, any of such uh, pictures or videos. But I've received this thing from different accounts. Even different accounts. Even alleged they were also forced to take the this uh, excretion of the uh, the cattle. So that one too, in fact, went, affected them psychologically. Meanwhile, the Defence and Interior Committee of Parliament has announced a visit to the area next week Thursday to inform them on their next line of action. The members of the committee, the Minister of Defence and the Military High Command will pay a visit on Thursday to Ashama to dialogue with the people of Ashama as well as the military high command. So for the meantime, we pleaded with our honorable member from Ashama. I don't, I don't wish to be in his shoes. We all have to admit as human beings that there were excesses and therefore we sympathize with the people of Ashama. At the same time, we also sympathize with the Ghana Armed Forces for our young men taking the law into their own hands to kill one of these. But a situation like this, 
All we can say is that we need peace. We, as members of the committee, cannot inflame passions by going there to make comments that will annoy a fashion. We are not to do that. Our mission is to make sure we have peace in this country. Incidents like this in the life of uh, the country do happen. We are shaping up a, a country, and um, we are going to have some of these incidents, regrettable incidents happening there. But I would still appeal to the people of Ghana to be very respectful of people in uniform. It will help all of us. But we cannot say, I will not say anything until the committee itself and us have gone on Thursday to the place and visited the place to ascertain for ourselves. Uh, one of the reasons why we are not going immediately is that Investigation is still ongoing. We don't want to compromise whatever investigation uh, that will happen. And that's why we, uh, we task our, our colleague to tone down on the statement so that we can all work together as unionism to ensure that this tricky situation is brought under control. Reporting from Parliament, my name is Ni Aikwe Okain for City News.